what percent of real estate transactions do you think are still today done by cash? Big suitcase of cash, percent of transactions. I think it's uh, about uh, 80%. Eighty percent. And we are back with another episode of Real Estate in Ukraine. The do's, the don'ts, the red lights, the green lights with uh, my legal friend, Konstantin. Thanks, Konstantin. Yeah, thank you very much. Just as an interesting point, because it's so different than my world, in North America. What are standard mortgage interest rates these days in Ukraine for mortgages? Average, uh, it's, uh, it depends, but uh, average about uh, 15, 15% per year. 15% per annum, you get that guys? So that's why uh, the mortgage business is quite low actually in Ukraine compared to the Western world. Most people buy their properties uh, outright, cash. Yeah, they don't get mortgages, yeah? Yes, I heard about uh, other experience of other lawyers from other countries and uh, they, uh, they, uh, they say it was the same, yeah? So, uh, mortgage, uh, mortgage market in America, it's much more bigger than uh, in Ukraine. That's one of the reasons that the property appreciation market in Ukraine uh, hasn't followed European standards is because just less, less cash, less money available to buy real estate because uh, people won't pay these absorbent rates, 15, 18% interest. So it's only from savings, which means less demand, which means price is, is less than European, uh, other European countries. Let's talk about the process of conveyance or change of ownership at the legal end. How does it happen in Ukraine? So for example, uh, I'm a buyer, I'm buying the property from Igor over here. Um, typically, how does this transaction happen? How does the money change hands from me to Igor? Can you explain how that works? Normal uh, conveyance situation in Ukraine? And next, how about money transfer? So we come to you, you're the lawyer acting uh, on, the, on the transaction. Uh, I'm the buyer, I need to pay Igor, let's say $200,000 USD. How does the money flow? Do I pay you and you pay Igor? Do I give you the 200,000 cash and you give it to Igor? As a rule, as a rule, money transferring, making directly from the buyer to seller. Yeah, so it's uh, it's not a very common practice to to give money to to lawyers. In some cases, we need uh, we we have the practice to transfer m money to notary, but generally, generally, in, almost in every cases, we uh, transfer money directly. Very interesting. <laughs> very different than how we do it. Uh, we do it through uh, trust agreements or escrow agreements with, uh, with, with lawyers or notaries back home. They do it directly between buyer and seller here, which is interesting. Uh, I prefer to do it uh, through escrow in Ukraine, like we do back home, to give um, the buyer uh, the confidence of knowing that the lawyer is representing his best in for interest, but you have to be careful and make sure that you have an honest uh, registered lawyer if you're going to do that yeah yeah let's talk about cash transactions what percent of uh, real estate transactions are let's say again i'm buying uh the property for two hundred thousand dollars from igor typically do i come in to meet with you with a suitcase of two hundred thousand dollars cash is that often the case unfortunately not a lot of people here in ukraine wants to pay taxes and in this uh, in this situation in this case a lot of uh, a lot of com uh, came with uh, big uh, big uh, luggage of uh, of money but first of all our government tried to protect citizen uh, from different kind of uh, crimes and uh, that's why uh, it restricted the um, money, uh, cash money transfer. There's there's restrictions on cash transactions on yes, properties. Yes, yes. So you need to uh, you need to understand that um, in a lot of 
um, a lot of transactions um, people not to in order not to 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 pay taxes they include very low uh, price for for pr property but as a money they uh, they transfer by cash that's why now uh, if under the contract your uh, property cost more than 100 uh, grivnas you need obligatory so this is uh, obligation to transfer money through the bank so no other uh, options you're saying on property transactions more than 100,000 grivna it's not supposed not allowed to be a cash transaction where the uh, yeah. the buyer but i have first hand knowledge to know that that happens a lot Yes, of course, it it's happens a lot, so the people try to avoid uh, the, these rules. Uh, for example, they then can include uh, one amount of, uh, of some property, but uh, in real life they can agree for other one. So they transfer through the bank only one sum of money, but uh, in real life they, they, they try and transfer by cash another so it's pretty pretty complicated i understand it's um, difficult for understanding for foreigners but uh, in ukraine this is some kind of uh, reality unfortunately constantine just to cut to the chase let's just finish up on on cash transactions where buyer and seller actually come to their notary and lawyer bringing suitcases full of cash uh, for let's say property value $100,000. What percent of real estate transactions do you think are still today done by cash? Big suitcase of cash, percent of transactions. I think it's uh, about uh, 80%, 80%. I mean, it's, it, it doesn't it boggle your mind, guys, that literally guys come in. I mean, in Kiev, a decent uh, flat going to run you 200000 I mean, decent, you know, good flat, $200,000. So imagine, you know, $200,000 in USD and big old babushka suitcases, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That concludes this video on real estate transactions in Ukraine. The do's, the don'ts, and the risk factors will be back for the next part. Thanks, Konstantin. Thank you very much. I definitely recommend you to worry when you buy or sell some property here in Ukraine. Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way this could all change for you Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one. Ukraine, a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.